Trying to turn the tide on rising COVID cases, Governor Holcomb urging Hoosiers out there to get vaccinated as state health officials release grim numbers on COVID-19 cases. Yeah, News 8's Adam Pinsker is with us here to tell us how officials are worried those numbers will keep climbing as the Omicron variant takes hold in Indiana. Yeah, Jasmine, the first case of the Omicron variant was detected 11 days ago in Indiana. State Health Commissioner Dr. Christina Box says the amount of people in the hospital due to COVID is the highest it's been in a year. Governor Eric Holcomb frustrated over Indiana's lagging vaccination rate in his first press conference on COVID-19 in several months. For the life of me, I, I struggle um, to think about how some folks trust certainly the most lethal um, virus that anyone living today has been ex most anyone who's living today who's been exposed to the state's health commissioner dr christina box says covid 19 cases are increasing dramatically in people 40 and under as well as children nine and under school cases have also increased before the winter break to some of the highest levels that we have seen in months as a result, our positivity rate is once again hovering around 14% after falling to 6% in October. The health department says only about half of eligible Hoosiers are vaccinated, and among that number, only a third of them received the COVID-19 booster. COVID-19 testing kits remain in short supply as cases surge. I was at a CVS yesterday buying toothpaste, I'll con another confession, in the morning, and, I, and the, the clerk that was checking me out took multiple phone calls while I was standing there um, and had to say that no, they did not have tests available at this time. Dr. Box says she fears vaccine hesitancy and increased patient loads at hospitals will cause healthcare workers to burn out. We have lost a tremendous number of healthcare providers. Um, someone very close to us just told us his wife is leaving um, an emergency room setting because she just can't do it anymore. And quite honestly, we will continue to lose more nurses and respiratory therapists and physicians from the healthcare profession. The governor extended his health emergency health order until February 1st, which has been in effect, of course, since the start of the pandemic. This will ensure Hoosiers can receive enhanced federal benefits. The governor will not impose mask mandates or any other restrictions at this time. Adam Pinsker, WishTV, WishTV.com and follow us on Facebook.